and welcome uh, my name is Ishan and uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can connect your database to a Dreamweaver and you can display it in a various way anyway uh, to test my website I need to install IIS which is Internet Information Services go to your control panel go to programs and features and uh, click on turn Windows feature on and off you will see Internet Information Services which is usually I mean this feature is off so just click uh, on internet information services and click ok to install it so I already have installed my IIS uh, on my computer to see that like uh, if it's already installed just go to uh, my computer go to your local disk uh, I mean C drive and you will see an INET pub folder Inside INET pub folder, you will see www root folder, which is going to be your testing server. And uh, inside that, these are all my uh, project folder. Uh, now I'm gonna tell you how you can make these folders. Uh, second step, what you have to do, you have to make at least three folders. On your desktop, uh, I made two folder, which is uh, one is my project folder. Uh, phone book and the other one is called PB remote which is phone book remote folder uh, phone book which is my uh, project folder so I'm gonna save all my project files and uh, PB remote which is going to be my backup folder so I'm gonna save all my backup files on my PB folder uh, sorry PB remote folder and the third one uh, which is the most important one you have to create one folder under WW root folder so I made one already which is empty phone book so uh, just a new folder like click go new and make one folder and name it phone book whatever you want I mean you don't have to just put whatever uh, the name that I have so I'm gonna minimize this and again uh, on my project folder I'm gonna double click it which is a phone book folder and first thing I need a database so I'm gonna make a folder and name it uh, as a database folder and again I'm gonna minimize this or even you can just close this one just right now and uh, you need Microsoft Access in Microsoft Access go ahead and click on a blank database and it will ask you, ask you the name of the database so I will put db and I want you to save this in your project folder remember on a desktop go to desktop and your remote folder which is the phone book and remember you create one uh, folder named database so just double click on database and save this and make sure uh, because uh, you uh, save this on a 2002 to 2003 format or just even like a 2000 format because the driver we're gonna use to connect the database is only support 2000 to 2003 format so just click uh, OK and uh, click create once you create that uh, just uh, click on the view so it will ask you the table name just create a simple table uh, table We need this ID, uh, we need that auto number or my uh, unique key, you can say that. Uh, so we need a first field, it's just going to be our contact ID, which is going to be our auto number. And we need name. Name as a text and number. I will take it as a text because sometimes we use slash, dash, and something like that, you know. And the third one we're gonna use on image. I will let you know this later because we're gonna put some pictures on that too, which is going to be connected with our uh, database. So I want you to save this and uh, go to the view and just name, put whatever you want. Z number four four five 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 six 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 and zero zero one dot jpeg. This is just a demo. I mean uh, database. I'm just putting in. And the other one is B five 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 seven 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 eight 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 and zero zero two. So don't worry about this 
the uh, image thing I will uh, tell you this later. Anyway, save your database, close this, and close access now. So I don't think so we need this anymore. Again, like in your project folder, database, and then you have a database inside. So you call it, okay, so just close this, open your Dreamweaver. Inside the Dreamweaver, we will see the welcome window. And in welcome window, uh, you'll go to site, new site. Sometimes uh, it will show you the basics, so just click on advanced tab, put your uh, site name, Chromebook. Local root fol folder is gonna going to be your project folder, which is on your desktop. Remember we made one, uh, phone book, and select OK. Select OK again. OK, sometimes it doesn't show the name, so just tap it. We're gonna using we're using the files inside uh, the phone book folder. Let's just this one. Okay, and uh, on the category again, uh, there's a remote info. So uh, select remote info uh, for access. Use uh, local network because we're using our computer as a local network. A remote folder. Now remember the second folder that we made on our desktop, which is our PB remote. Select that. Server model, I'm going to use uh, ASPBB script, access local network, and uh, testing server. Remember the third folder that we made under our uh, C drive, inet pub, www root? I'm going to use that folder. So I'm going to go to my computer, local C drive, inet pub, www root, and the phone book. Again, sometimes it says doesn't show, so just uh, copy that folder, I mean uh, the name only, uh, control, sorry, control C, select, select, and paste, again, that slash, and over here you will see URL prefix, so when you go to your browser you will type this, and make sure you have your phone book name, and because again we're going to use slash okay so this is pretty much done click it okay and uh, it will create a my menu your uh, site so you will see a folder uh, database and uh, I mean again uh, on your right hand side here is expanded view go to expanded view uh, this icon shows where the testing folder is and I want you to uh, I mean copy that database folder, uh, click on database and put file and I want you to save it as your backup so um, I mean go to your uh, load folder and click database and copy that over there. Okay so in the next video I'm going to show you how you're going to make